When will we see some action? As disputes over the city centre continue, frustration builds at what appears to be a lot of talk. Opposing plans for the inner city development have led to disagreement in council ranks again. The Vauxhall Miskal report was discussed at last night's council meeting. But it's been criticised by Councillor N. Capitanese. Sean Summerfield reports. A shadow over Invercargill's future. The Boffer Miskal report's troubles continue today. The report was supposed to give the council all the information it needed to plan the inner city development. But the council then took a flight around the North Island cities to gather more ideas. Problems still keep popping up. The latest is the fight over where farmers' trading will be located. Councillor Capitaneus said that the Boffer Miskal's idea to relocate the store to Beside Movie Land was presumptuous. Uh, I was concerned that even councillors who, who have looked at reports for a long time might begin to believe that the, the plan would have to include the likes of a, a major, say farmers or, or other people, because there are other people involved perhaps, um, should be down at the south end. He says too much is expected from the report. But people mustn't necessarily believe the report is absolutely, certainly sold on that. Councillor Capitaneus is also a director of H&J Smiths, the company in competition with Amtex. Deputy Mayor Mark Winter says commercial interests can be a problem. What he's probably saying is that the Boffer Miskal report doesn't necessarily support what they're doing, but neither does it support, say, an Amtex view either. I think it's pretty much down the line and quite neutral. He says that there's always concern over pecuniary interests. You know, you're always going to get a vested interest um, on a city council because people have interest all over the place. It's a very small town, and so you're always going to get that. On the inner city working group, for example, there's a whole lot of vested interest there. So after spending 50000 on Boffer Miskal and a further $7,000 on the North Island trip, confusion over the city's future continues. The time for talking is finished. It's time for action, and that's what we're, we're hoping to do. Discussions continue in February. This is Sean Summerfield for Mercury News.